Have you ever been to some places like the United States, Korea, or Japan? Plants and trees in these countries are actually different in what we have here in the Philippines. Because in these countries, changes occur in plants in different times of the year. These changes occur in countries with four seasons. That's right, four seasons such as spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Why do some places have different seasons compared to the Philippines? Well, as you all know, Philippines has only two seasons, which is the wet and dry season. But what causes the different seasons in other countries? This is the question that we are going to answer as we learn about the Earth's rotation and revolution. Hi there! My name is Teddy and welcome to science! Today, we are going to learn about movements or motions of the Earth and how it makes changes on the Earth's surface. This is the Earth. The Earth moves at a constant speed. It follows a counterclockwise direction. The Earth moves in two ways, and we call it rotation and revolution. What is Earth's rotation? The movement of the Earth on its axis is called rotation. Every day, the sun appears to rise in the east, then travels across the sky and set in the west. You can observe this day in and day out. But hey, did you know that the sun does not actually move from east to west? Instead, the Earth is the one spinning on its axis. Take a look at the Earth. The Earth rotates or spins from west to east. Therefore, think about this. If you fly above the North Pole of the Earth, you will see that the Earth rotates counterclockwise. But on the other pole of the Earth, which is the South Pole, its rotation will be seen as clockwise. Now you know how the Earth rotates or spin. And because of that, the Earth's rotation result to the occurrence of day and night. The sun seems to rise in the east and sets in the west. But the apparent movement of the sun is due to the direction of the Earth's rotation and also because we observe the sky from the Earth. Places facing the sun experience daytime, while those facing away from the sun experience nighttime. The period of one complete rotation of the Earth is defined as a day, and it takes 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.2 seconds to be exact. Now that you know the Earth's rotation, let's talk about the Earth's revolution. What is revolution? What is the difference between rotation and revolution? Well, to answer that, revolution is the movement of the Earth around the Sun. The Earth revolves around the Sun 
in a counterclockwise direction. It takes the Earth a year or 365 and one for days to revolve around the Sun. That's right, 365 and extra one for day. But if you observe the Gregorian calendar that we are using, it only uses 365 days. Therefore, to keep the calendar sync with the revolution of the Earth, a leap year is used every four years to compensate the excess time. What is leap year? A leap year is a year with 366 days. February 29 is added on the calendar as an intercalary day. The Earth travels around the Sun in a path or orbit. This is the orbit of the Earth. It is not a perfect circle, but a slightly flattened circle. This form is called ellipse or elliptical shape. This is the reason why sometimes the Earth is far from or close to the Sun. The Earth's farthest point from the Sun is called aphelion, and the Earth's nearest point from the Sun is called perihelion. And remember, as the Earth orbits the Sun, Earth's axis remains fixed in space so that at one point, the northern hemisphere of the Earth is tilted. This is how it looks like. And because of the Earth's revolution and its position around the Sun, this causes the four seasons in some countries. These seasons are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. How does this happen to other countries? Well, it is because of the two main reasons. Number one is because of the Earth's revolution. And number two is because of the tilt of the Earth to its axis. The Earth actually tilts at 23 degrees. The Earth moves around the Sun. The Earth's axis is always tilted in the same direction throughout its orbit. As a result, different parts of the Earth receive different amounts of sunlight or solar radiation at different time of the year. During June, July, and August, the Northern Hemisphere is facing the Sun while the Southern Hemisphere is away from the Sun. And on June 21 or 22, summer begins in the Northern Hemisphere while Southern Hemisphere experiences winter. The Northern Hemisphere is exposed to more direct sunlight. That is why they experience summer. Example of these countries are Canada, Europe, and the United States. During this time also, the Northern Hemisphere experiences its longest daylight period. And at the same time, the Southern Hemisphere experiences its short daylight. As the Earth moves, summer turns to autumn or fall. During September, October, and November, the axis of the northern and southern hemisphere 
move sideways. Therefore, in this period, both hemisphere received not too much or too little energy from the sun. And on September 23, the daytime and nighttime has equal length. This time is called autumnal equinox. The Earth continuously revolved, and during December, January, and February, the North Pole is facing away from the Sun. Therefore, the Northern Hemisphere receives the least amount of sunlight, while the Southern Hemisphere receives the greatest amount of sunlight. And as a result, Starting on December 21 or 22, the North Pole will experience winter. And at the same time, places in the South Pole will experience summer. And also during this season, the shortest daylight period occurs in the Northern Hemisphere, while the longest daylight period occurs in the Southern Hemisphere. As Earth moves from March, April to May, both hemisphere receives equal amount of solar energy. And on March 21, the length of day and night is equal. This time is called spring equinox. It is also a signal of the start of a new season. And this cycle of Earth's rotation and revolution happens again and again. How about in the Philippines? The four seasons do not occur in the Philippines and other places located near the equator. But Philippines does experience the wet and dry season.